So we've got the number of um, auto vandalism claims reported per month at an insurance company that is called the Road Trip Insurance Company. That number of claims has a mean of 110 and a variance of 750. Yeah. So that's important because it tells us something about the number of claims. So it's mean variance given like this. If we then look at individual losses, they have a mean of 1,101 and a standard deviation of 70. We have an assumption about independence between the number of claims and the amounts of the individual losses. And we want to use the normal approximation to calculate the probability that um, the road trip insurance company's aggregate losses reported for a month will be less than 100,000. Okay, so I already highlighted in yellow the information that we have about the frequency distribution. So that is saying something about n and the frequency or the number of claims. We know what the expected value is of n, we know what the variance is of n. Okay, and besides that, we also have some information about the individual losses. So I'm going to highlight that in, in blue. They have a mean given like this and a standard deviation like this. Yeah. So I also have some information about the X, which is the loss or the severity. These are the so-called individual losses. And we also know what the expected value is of, of X. We know what the standard deviation is of X. So we also know what the variance is of X. Um, we want to think about the aggregate losses. Yeah? So this is a question about the aggregate losses. Voila. And we need to calculate a certain probability related to these aggregate uh, losses. And we are encouraged to use the normal approximation. So we need to think about how would we approximate then this, um, this distribution. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down this um, this aggregate aggregate loss random variable. I think I can put it somewhere here. Right. So if I look at the aggregate loss random variable, that's going to be S. That's the compound sum. Right. And the whole idea is that I'm going to approximate the distribution of S with a normal. And I'm using a bit of a strange N to make the distinction with. Um, the n for the number of claims. So a normal distribution. So I need to approximate or I need to work with a normal distribution which has the expected value of s as its mean and the variance of s as its variance. Okay, so the question is how do I calculate this expected value of s and this variance of s? Okay, and there that's where the um, derivations that we just made, made that's where they, they come into place, right? So we just learned uh, with this uh, tedious calculation that you can write the expected value of S as the expected value of X times the expected value of N. So if I plug in what I know over here, the expected value of X is in blue 1101 and the expected value of, of N in yellow that would be 110. So if I work that out, I get a large number, something like this. Okay, that's my first step. Then I look at the variance of S. There I need a few uh, more ingredients. So if I look at the variance of S, I'll need expected value of N, variance of X, plus expected value of X squared, variance of N. And again, I know all these ingredients, expected value of n in yellow, that's 110. The variance of x, well, I've got the standard deviation, which is 70. So that's going to be 70 squared, right? The expected value of x squared, then, that's going to be uh, 1,101 1, squared. And I need to multiply that with the variance of n, and that's my final building block. That's the variance of 750, right? So if I do the math, if I if I do this calculation, I'll get a 
very large number, which I'm not going to read that loud, but I get something like, like this. So it's important to start with these um, two calculations. So it's important to be aware here in this exercise about yeah, what is the compound, uh, compound sum random variable, this s, and how do I get to the expected value of s and the variance of s. Now, that being given, you can now use your normal approximation. Yeah? And here, we're going to match the moments of the distribution of s to these moments of the approximating normal distribution. Now, that's how we're going to uh, use this approximation over here. So if you have the variance of s, then you could also calculate the standard deviation, which in this case would lead us to 30,000 something. And then, of course, I need to know what is the probability that s is going to be smaller than 100,000. Because the question was asking us, yeah, what's the probability that in one month you will realize a loss of uh, related to these vandalism claims, a loss that is smaller than 100,000. So what we're going to do is, of course, we're going to standardize this, uh, or we're going to subtract the mean, and, and we're going to subtract um, uh, we're going to divide by the standard deviation. So I'll get something like, like this. It's um, divided by the standard deviation. And I'm going to say that's approximately uh, a standard normal distribution evaluated in the point, I think it should be minus 0 0.7. I looked that up in a table or something, and I get 24%. Yeah, so that's how this exercise would work. That's how I would um, calculate using an approximation um, this uh, probability requested in, in the exercise. Any questions on that? Does that make sense? I think it's hard or, or any feedback on this? So that's, that was one of these uh, questions huh? where you need to, you get a little story and you need to translate the story into random variables and do something with these um, random variables. Huh? That's often the kind of uh, uh, questions that, that you're going to get.